The cell theory states the following. All living things are made up of one or more cells. The cell is the fundamental unit of structure and function of all living things, and cells arise from pre-existing cells. Let's consider viruses, which are not alive, but have some characteristics of living things. The basic virus particle is genetic material surrounded by a protein coat. It cannot reproduce without invading a host cell. It is a parasite that uses living cells. Because it cannot reproduce on its own and does not have a metabolism, it is not alive. Some viruses contain RNA, and some infectious RNA molecules, viroids, can invade cells. These non-living machines that get cells to replicate their RNA may be related to the first stages of evolution of life from inanimate molecules. They're like fossils that we can study now to understand what happened billions of years ago. A cell can be a small compartment of any type. Robert Hooke coined the name cell when he observed plants under a microscope. The plant cells resembled the cells of a honeycomb. In biology, one of the most basic units of organisms is the cell a small compartment with most everything a living organism needs. Try this activity to learn more about cells.